Hello, no intro today, just gonna crack on. Light's absolutely perfect at the moment. We're out of the new forest. As you can see, I'm in a nice densely populated woodland. Everything is just really nice and tight. So we're gonna walk around every corner or every uh, tree stump and we're just gonna come, ac come across a composition, hopefully. So it's been raining all night, um, which brings out all the colors and all the leaves on the trees are really nice, rich colors. The ground, let's have a look at the ground. We've got lots and lots of moss, which is really, really bright green. So that'd be good. I'm just not gonna yabble on anymore. Blah, 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 blah. Just gonna crack on and get some woodland images. Well, you've already seen my first image, this will be my second one. I've just come across this lovely little composition. I'll talk you through it in a second. But what we have got, we've got all that soft light that's coming through, through the canopy, and it's like dark everywhere else. So it's like basically creating a natural vignette. And this would be the image that I'll be taking. As you can see, we've got this tree stump and we've got all the moss on it, which is catching the light. And this fern is absolutely being illuminated. So it's almost like a neon color. And you know what they say, make images when the light is soft. So without further ado, I better crack on with this one. So we're just gonna have that basically in the middle and we're gonna have some light that's just getting captured just on the left-hand side. Um, first thing I wanna do is make sure it's in manual focus. And I wanna, oh, I'm gonna zoom in. There we are. Right, now that is zoomed in as far as we can go. Now I'm just gonna turn the focus ring until I get that nice and sharp. Because it's always best to manual focus, believe it or not, especially if you're on a tripod. Well, only if you're on a tripod. Because you don't want to get home and find that you've missed focus on all your images. So let's just come back out again. I can probably go in a little bit tighter. I might even crop it in post. I would like to take a couple of images first just to see what they come out like. Right, I think maybe come in a little bit tighter. Um, like that. So it's over to the third a bit more. There we go. Right, what I'm going to do, I'm going to stay here for about five minutes and I'm just going to let those clouds go past and see if it just gets a little bit brighter or not. Uh, I'm in no hurry, so that's what I'm gonna do. So it'll either be this image here, you see, or one that's with the, with the clouds just a little bit thinner, shall we say. thing about walking around a nice densely populated uh, woodland is basically you just get images left right and center now the next one I've come across to show behind me is this tree here as you can see we've got all the leaves that are just totally dead they must have been on for a couple of years they're just frazzled away because it's not quite autumn yet so it's just trying to get this image I'm dying to get this image of this tree but you have to get to the right position. So we want the tree to be lit up and we want the background to be, oh, we want the background to be nice and dark. So there, it's just, just not standing out. We've got all this in the foreground here, which is too bright and it's not showing 
the true potential and the detail of this tree here. As you can see, everything around the top, around the bottom is just too, too bright. So I'm just gonna walk around to another part of this tree and see what the angle from this end is. It's all trial and error. Like I say, it's uh, nice and cloudy today. I've got a nice soft light, so I can take my time and just wander around. Now from this angle here, might work but it's just so bright in the background again we're just not getting that tree trunk the detail of the tree trunk and a good tip when you are shooting pictures of uh, trees is in Lightroom get your brush um, get your clarity brush and just paint in all the trunks and all the branches and just bring them out about 50% like that and then that will really bring out the detail in the trunk but I'm just looking around this one I will take a picture of this it's a trial and error this one I'm not quite sure which angle I'm gonna get but I'm gonna pop one up now and I'll let you know which is the best angle right after walking around for a few minutes around this tree I've uh, come across a composition which I'm quite happy with and I think it might work um, obviously you have to edit it and then try and bring out some of the colors but what we've got going on is like I say we've got the tree in the middle which I'm going to use my clarity brush to really bring out the detail in it and to the left hand side we've got this fallen branch which is like a diagonal facing into the tree and just above it we've got another diagonal from the tree and it's the green leaves that are coming across so we've got two leaves coming 45 degree angle across it with this in the middle and I think that could frame it on the top and the bottom so I'm going to go back to the camera now and uh, frame it up. I don't know if you can see on the back of the camera, we've got the two diagonal lines going across like that. So I'm going to focus right in the middle of the tree. Let's get that right up close. Manual focus. Get that perfect. Well, we've got three second timer. We're on uh, F5.6 we only want the foreground we don't care about the background so it's going to be a shallower depth of field uh, ISO 100 and an eighth of a second let's see what that looks like tripping it's crazy right so next composition this one here I've got these two trees here I'm not quite sure if I want them in the image or if I just want them just at the edge just to create like a, a vignette but what we have got I'm not quite sure if you can see it in the camera I'll shine it up a little bit higher is we've got some leaves that are dangling down dead leaves that are dangling down from that branch and they're really caught well because we've got that big opening in the bottom there it's just allowing all the light through so basically we're getting a silhouette of those leaves um, not quite sure how I'm going to take it I might do portrait or I might do landscape if I do landscape I think I might catch uh, too much in either side but what I do is I'll take both and possibly a portrait would just emphasize the middle and those leaves a lot more so I'm gonna have a fiddle around with my settings and see what I can get. So let's have a look. That'd be too wide. We've got too much white over there. We don't want that. We want to bring it in a bit because we want to emphasize that middle bit. So I'm going to take this picture like this, like I say, on a tripod, you can go manual focus you want to cap you don't want to capture the leaves in the background you want to capture those ones in the foreground a lovely little bit of moss hanging off that branch as well there we go settings for this oh, about settings for this third of a second f5.6 iso 100 
again still using that three second timer that's not too bad but I don't know if it's weighted over to one side it's quite a balancing act to get that dark image on that the dark trees on that side then you've got like the mist in the middle and then you've got these trees scattered on that side so I'm going to try portrait sorry landscape not, that's not going to work no so it's always best to try both but the minute I turn it this way it just loses everything I want it to it's just too spray, spaced out um, possible oh, hang on a minute possibly like that so let's focusing on them leaves again let's go in and manual focus them oh it might work actually there we go right same settings third of a second f5.6 iso 100 yeah that works funnily enough so we've got the weight on that side but we've also got the light in the middle and then we've got enough trees on the right hand side to balance the left hand side right i'll pop that one up for you now glad we've got a lot of cloud coverage today it just makes my job a lot easier and a lot more enjoyable because I haven't got to rush around and the light coming out or going in it's just soft all the time so what I'm looking for in a woodland image really is possibly something like this so we've got the darkness around the outside I won't be taking this picture but this is the kind of example that we're looking for so it's dark all around the edge and then we've got that shaft of light coming through from the top and illuminating that branch and those ferns. That I'll had a look at that one. I won't be taking a picture of that, but I'm gonna walk down. Oh, you tangled up again. But I'm gonna take a walk down here quickly and I'll uh, show you another composition that might actually work. Let's get down here. I mean, where I am at the moment is impassable in the winter. Um, luckily it's been so dry that you can walk and get down as deep as I am at the moment. Normally this is just boggy and muddy and it's either wellies or a no-go zone. This is my next composition. I think we've got these beautiful ferns. Now they've all turned orange, so we've got a different kind of colour going on. Now we haven't got greens, we've got oranges, we've got speckles of green, all the moss, and also we've got moss on that tree there and we've got this one coming up over the top um nice shaft of light coming through the top there so this is what we're looking for nice light coming through darker on the edges so like i say natural vignette and again we're going to be using a clarity brush to brush in anything that we think needs to be either brighter or more defined so i'm going to set this one up and i'll uh, shoot that for you but we've just come out of that um, really tight woodland which is over that side there uh, come out to a space that's a little bit wider now shall we say so we've got a lot lot more breathing space as you can see all around behind me and I've set my camera up at the very top of that hill up there 
and we've got the hill that comes down down to the river that I've been shooting next to and then it opens up again this absolutely beautiful scene uh, normally I don't try and get any of the sky in my woodland pictures because obviously we're taking woodland pictures and not landscape pictures so I'm going to try and keep it down as low as I can shooting down that's why I've gone to the top of the hill and then I can shoot down we've got this tree that's fallen over and we've got all the branches that are just catching the light from where the sun should be at the top there it's really nice and soft I'm going to keep this quite wide open because we've got some lovely trees as I go back further we've got trees either side that start to frame this image so I'm just going to go back to the camera now and uh, set up this composition so three second timer Oh, it's a really nice soft image. I don't really want to push my luck anymore today and uh, get any more images because uh, I'd rather get the best images I can rather than just taking pictures for the hell of it. So uh, I think that'll be my last one. I'll pop that up now for you. Hello, aeroplane, bye. Right, aeroplane's gone, good. <laughs> well, I hope you've enjoyed today's video. I uh, hope I've given you some little tips and tricks and some pointers on how to get those images when the forest is really dark and dense, really, um, when you get those shafts of light coming through from the top and try, just to try and pick out those individual leaves or tree trunks just to make that image really pop. I uh, hope you enjoyed today's video. If you have, please like and subscribe. Until next time, see ya.